Hey guys, and welcome to part 14 of Building Feed. So in the last episode, guys, we finished plating and tiling the entire platform, which means we now have a solid base to construct our buildings on. So in this episode, we're gonna be focusing mainly on the garden area. It has this sort of round building with a domed roof, as well as some surrounding walls. We also have to wrap up some work on the stairs, which is really exciting. Uh, so yeah, guys, let's get right into it. All right, you guys, so as per usual, here is a look at the current state of the mock. And then this is the area we're going to be mainly focusing on this episode. You can clearly see the outline of the walls that we're going to construct. And then here are uh, the platforms that we're going to build out with the stairs. So really exciting stuff, guys. Let's get to building. Okay, guys, so the first step for building uh, this garden area is going to be, I think, to create sort of the outline of the round building that's going to go here just to have a reference before I start building everything else because eventually the wall is going to incorporate in some way to that round base. So I feel like that's an important starting point. So let's do that. All right, so this is it. It has a bit of a more oval shape than I would like, but this is just very preliminary. It's just to make sure that uh, the walls meet perfectly with the pieces that I'm going to be using for that base. So what I'm gonna do next is start building the wall up as well as the stairs that are gonna go right here. So let's go ahead and do that. guys so this is where I'm at with the wall um, as you can see I've been using masonry bricks to add detail I sort of wanted to have this uh, little stripe going on the outside but then the inside of the garden to actually have the brick pattern so I'm really happy with how that's looking uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna continue raising up uh, the wall just to get it to the point where I can add the arches for the doorways and then I'll be back to explain something about the building techniques for this round building so let's do that Okay guys, so as you can see, I've brought the walls up to level so that I can place the arches that define the three entry points into the garden. Um, I've also kept on adding that one by one round plate with a bar so that I can make sure that all the walls are covered in this sort of vine and greenery. And I'm really excited for how that's gonna look. Uh, but right now guys, I wanna focus on this circular building right here, specifically on sort of the design of the walls themselves. So I think I'm gonna do a little tutorial on that. So let's go. Okay guys, so before I show you sort of the design that I have for this building, I wanted to just insert a quick picture here from the video game so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. So as you can see, it has sort of a tapered bottom and then on top it has a row of windows that are closed with these sort of like metallic blinds. To sort of recreate this, I've decided to start off with a one by four uh, plate. And then on top of it, just to add a little bit of texture, I'm adding um, two of these one by two modified plates. And then on top of that, to get that tapered shape, I'm adding two one by two slopes and one two by two slope like this. And then on top of that to secure it, I'm adding two more of those modified one by two plates. Then on top of that, we're gonna start building the foundation for our window frame with these uh, two by two wedges just like that and then on top of these wedges i'm adding another one by four plate and then two of these one by one modified plates with a clip on the side so like this and like that so to each one of these clips i'm going to be i'm going to be adding one of these bars uh these are the longer bars that used to be used for harry potter wands it really baffles me that these were the ones that we had back in the day they're so large and not in proportion at all, but anyway. Um, after this, I'm adding a one by two tile right here to the back, and then this modified uh, one by four plate right here at the front. So these bars are actually gonna be what house, um, what help attach the sort of uh, window blind design. Uh, it's basically 
two one by one modified tiles with a clip, and then two one by two plates, one in dark, dark bluish gray, and then one in light bluish gray. And then they simply attach like this, and then uh, they close together like that. So once I add the frame, they should technically uh, line up. So after this, I'm adding uh, two one by one bricks, just like that. And then on top of those, this arch piece to sort of finish off the look. And as you can see, it looks like it has that sort of metallic blind on the inside, which is fantastic. And then just to top it all off, I'm adding two other of these one by one clips. I mean, one by one plates with a clip and a one by two plate, just to make sure that everything stays um, attached. This might be a little bit more difficult to attach than I anticipated. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that is the design for sort of the walls of this uh, building. I'm gonna go ahead and build all of them and then come back with the finished look. Okay guys, so this is what the modules look like in place. I added some of those modified round plates to some of them to make sure that I can add greenery to it later. But guys, I'm really happy with how this is looking. It's just really nice overall. I also think the inside looks really interesting for some reason. Uh, but yeah, guys, before we work on the roof of this building, I want to uh, finish out leveling out all the walls just to get them to the same level as the arches and kind of start closing chapters on certain things. So let's go ahead and get to work on that. So I got a little carried away and I went ahead and also tiled off the top of the wall beside, aside from bringing it up to level with the arches. So that is completely done now. I've added sort of these modified one by two plates that I used in the building itself, uh, just to add a little bit more texture and depth. And then I also added these modified one by one round plates, you know, just to sort of fill in the gaps and give it a little bit more uh, texture and dimension. So now what I'm gonna do is get to work on the dome for this build. Uh, I kind of want to get sort of the same effect that we have on the big tower over there on the palace. Mm, I don't know how well it's going to translate, but I'm going to give it my best shot. So let's see how it goes. So here it is, guys, the finished roof for our little garden building. I'm so happy with how this translated. Uh, it looks so nice. I feel like geometrically it works really well, especially seen from above. And I'm just really, really happy with the results overall. I wasn't expecting it to turn out this good, honestly. And I feel like it really finishes off the building really nicely. Like it just gives it a nice touch, especially with the color. Originally this roof, like in the reference material is tan, uh, but Lego doesn't make this large dish piece in tan. So I swapped it out for uh, the sand green and I just feel like it works really, really well. So really, really happy with that. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think we've made significant progress this episode. So let's go ahead and talk about what you guys can expect in the next episode. All right, guys, so really great progress this episode. We got a lot more done than I was expecting. We finished an entire building, which is actually kind of insane to think about. But yeah, really great progress. So in the next episode, guys, we're going to be adding the finishing touches to the entire platform itself. This includes railing, trees, making sure that we add the street furniture to the garden itself, and then add all that greenery that I've been talking about. Uh, I'm really excited for the technique for the greenery. It's going to look so nice. Uh, but yeah guys, it is that time in the episode now where we update our follow along map. So last time we were here, and this time we've made it all the way up to here. So great progress guys, you can really tell in the elevation that things are coming together as more buildings start to pop up. I'm really excited to see that develop fully. Uh, but yeah guys, that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, if this is your first episode, welcome. Although maybe that should have been the beginning of the of the of the video. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.